I'm in Shropshire today in a September drilled crop of Beowulf winter wheat. It's late March and I'm here to assess what to do for a T1 fungicide. The winter has been relatively cool. Uh, the crop came out of the winter well, it was, it was a good autumn, it grew well. Um, it's been quite a dry March, so you perhaps wouldn't expect a very high level of disease in the crop, but we are seeing high levels of septoria in the bottom of this crop. The sort of thing I'm looking for is the level of disease currently in the crop, and I'm also considering the resistance ratings of the variety, what else is planned for the fungicide programme. The T0 will go on any day. That will be a quarter rate of uh, strobilorin triazole, mostly aimed at stem-based diseases and rusts. So when we're considering a T1, we've got a number of options. The fungicide programmes in the UK over the last few years have been dominated by SDHIs and triazoles. Uh, so Univoc is a different option to use in that programme. It, it offers a different mode of action. It's a good idea to introduce a different mode of action into the fungicide programme because we are starting to see some shifts in sensitivity of the septoria population to SDHIs and triazoles. Univoc contains Inatrec Active, which is a QII, which is a very different mode of action to SDHIs and triazoles. We only have the opportunity to use it once in the programme, so it's important to try and assess where that goes. The advantage of using Univoc at T1 is you get that great length of protection. It's also controlling any disease that's there now. Should, for whatever reason, your T2 application be delayed, then you've got peace of mind knowing that you've got a really good length of protection from that Univoc application at T1. If I was going to apply Univoc to this crop at T1, I'd be looking to apply a rate of between 1.1 and 1.25 litres per hectare. Moving to that higher rate would increase that length of protection should you get some catchy weather prior to your T2 application, so it will give you that peace of mind. The advantage of using Univoc at T2 is that you get to control diseases that are currently there, you get a great length of protection and it's a real insurance policy for your crop. Based on what I'm seeing here today, I'd use a rate of 1.25 litres per hectare of Univoc at T1 on this crop. It's a robust rate but there is septoria in the crop and it'll give us great protection up until that T2 timing. That will then leave us the option of an SDHI triazole type product for T2.